Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy. I'm finally at the air-conditioned library. <laughs> I've got a study room that I rented, and I am here to do the video of the Three Days of Darkness, um, which will produce uh, a great mighty event uh, on the Three Days of Darkness weekend. Now then, I have a prophet that's going to be coming to my channel. I haven't introduced you to you yet, but the Lord has showed me to do an amazing thing to connect us and to connect the body of Christ, the true bride of Christ, that as these two channels come together, the Lord God Almighty is fixing to do a powerful thing in the two different channels and the events that are taking place, the things God's showing him, the things God's showing me, but it's going to open up a whole bunch of information, a bunch of um, how-to and a bunch of help and a bunch of encouragement, a bunch of love poured out from God the Father because not every son and daughter carry all the pieces to the puzzle, not one. Now, we'll be carried some confirmation key pieces because, you know, the Lord talks about confirmations in the scripture that he'll give somebody else something that you don't know this person, never talk to them, they're a prophet or they're a messenger or um, they're a servant of God or they're a pastor that has become a prophet uh, and they might give a word to something the Lord's giving you before you ever see that they have a video. And sometimes he'll give you the word, the message, the dream, the vision before they're able, ever able to produce a word so that your word will be first. And if you have a YouTube channel and he shares with you to get the word out, then there's a date on that video. And then he gives a word to the prophet to release his word. There's reasonings for that. It's so that the confirmations will be going out. Things will be fed to God's people to wake up. And this is the prophetic church, the true church that is on fire. We have church day and night watching the prophetic, listening to the prophetic, thinking about the prophetic, talking to our friends about the prophetic, our true brothers and sisters on Christ that we're associated with. So now then, let me get into this word. Uh, I wrote down this word, and God the Father wanted me to write down this word. This word was not given to me. I don't normally do this, but whenever the Lord moves on me to do something, it's for his reasoning. This word had a double whammy. It was to minister to another person, and I've already ministered to that person, and I so believe they have pulled away from what they were doing. Now, I want to show you something before I read this word. It's a powerful word in God's scripture that we all need to listen to, and then I'm going to end the video, and then you're going to come back and listen to this word about the three days of darkness. And the reason I'm doing these little mini videos is to upload them as fast as I can to get the word out there. And I need you to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that the word will be broadcasted out there. For the Lord Jesus Christ, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Now then, um, where was I? Holy Spirit, help me to remember where I was. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, so the, the Lord wants me to go to um, uh, Matthew 24. He had something that he wanted me to show you, and I believe very strongly he's trying to tell me that these are, these are um, the evil ones, and we all know their names. <laughs> you remember? And they're in black clothes. Let's just put them in darkness, okay, because they're in darkness. Okay, all right, so Matthew 24, I hate to be funny, but I mean, we have to look at a little bit of some of this stuff with a sense of humor, because we know that the Lord God laughs, um, and so anyway, so let me move. Matthew 24, verse 23 to 28 
and I was studying the glorious return of Christ in all the scriptures, uh, including 1 Thessalonians, uh, about the rapture. And as I was here reading this uh, a couple weeks ago, the Lord drew my attention to look up and to read and meditate. So I did what he showed me to do, and then he showed me something. I want to read this, and then I want you to pay attention to what you're going to hear in the Word. Be very attentive, very prophetic as to what you're going to hear in this Word. It's going to reveal something. These are not ordinary people in this scripture. Read, listen. Matthew 24, verse 23. And it applies to the word that I'm going to read on the next uh, few videos to get all this message out, okay? It says, then, verse 23, Matthew 24, verse 23. Then if anyone says to you, behold, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe him. Verse 24, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and will show you, listen, great signs and wonders, not human, great signs and wonders, not human, so as to mislead, if possible, even the elect, which are the saints of God. Verse 25, Behold, I have told you in advance. 26, So if they say to you, Behold, he is in the wilderness, do not go out, or behold, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe them. Not human. Hmm. Verse 27, For just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes even to the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. Praise the Lord. Okay, and then uh, verse 28, and I have a little something I want to add to this that the Lord showed me on the way to dropping a dear loved one off that's not walking on the path of righteousness they should be. And then verse 28 says, Whenever the cor Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Now then, and then I'm going to end the video. And then I'll start another video. Okay. I was on my way to drop off a dear loved one one morning, ministering to them in my car. On the right-hand side of the road was a dead animal. The vultures were buzzards, is what we call them in Texas. We call them buzzards. <laughs> we don't call them vultures. Hey, there's all the buzzards. We call them buzzards. Don't ask me why. That's been going on in Texas ever since I was a little child. I've just been going along with them. We call them buzzards. We don't call them vultures. Okay, so these um, buzzards were eating this deer, and they were fighting with one another to tear out the gut. All of a sudden, the Lord moves on me because I'm already ministering to this loved one in the car before I get them to where they're going. They're not walking on a path of righteousness, so every opportunity they get in my car, I minister to them, because guess what? My car is my church. It's my church on wheels. Whoever gets in is locked in, <laughs> and they have to listen. <laughs> okay, so all of a sudden the Lord moves in me to show me the kingdom of darkness is like unto a, an animal that has fallen prey, and all the buzzards come and attack and feast upon this animal that has fallen prey. Now then, what he showed me while I was on the road is when a person walks away from Christ and starts going their own way, even though they was a Christian and was following the Christian way, when they start walking in the darkness, the evil ones come on their path like a flock of buzzards and start feasting on them, tearing apart their belly, their insides out, their life, trying to continue to tear them apart to where they're just, they're, they're dead to the gospel that was flowing in them. It's like the gospel was released out of the belly. It just, 
they don't want to think about it, don't want to have nothing to do with it. And um, they're just going on in life as if they'd been brainwashed. So brothers and sisters, this is an encouragement to you, a warning to you. Let us meditate on the word and look at the things of the word, the strong signs of the word. Again, the Lord said false Christ and false prophets will arise and will show great signs and wonders. Now come back to the next video and we're going to talk about the three days of darkness. But he popped this in because it has to do with the next thing I'm missing to do. I didn't know that. And he, the Holy Spirit moved. So again, I need you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, spread the word to your other friends and family, those that are prophetic, maybe even those that are not prophetic to help wake up the body of Christ before the rapture comes. Now then, I uh, also wanted to um, encourage you to just have your ears on on the next word. I'm probably going to have to break it up depending on how the Lord wants to do it uh, because it is five pages long. I can't do that all in one video without being able to have some downtime to talk about it. Okay, so again, subscribe to this channel, like this video, uh, help me to broadcast these out there. We don't have much time before uh, the rapture comes and then apparently, uh, excuse me, the three days of darkness come and um, the rapture comes when the war begins. I love you and please pray for me. I'm going through a lot and I just need your encouragement um, to continue to share the videos with others, encourage others to come to this channel, do your ministries, and um, it encourages me when you come faithfully and you listen to the videos, and I'm hoping and praying that you're sharing them with others. And um, I just, I need you. And I would like to add as many as I can to my phone book. So my phone number is at the top of my YouTube channel for all those that would like to have a few minutes of counseling, a few minutes of fellowship, but listen to me, you're going to have to send me a text message only first, and then we will make a time to where we can talk. I don't know how long I'll be able to talk to you, but I will do my best to minister to you. But we're in the last days, and there's much work to be done on my YouTube channel. There's much work to be done. I've been ministering to every family in my family in my physical house right now. I have gone to every one to tell them about the rapture. And um, I have done a lot of grieving, a lot of crying. And I've had a lot of things go on besides my car, my job. Uh, things that are going on um, in other areas. And uh, I have cast every one of my burdens, all my anxieties before the Lord's feet. And he has given me complete peace. And he's taken care of all those things, that things that are happening and things that people are coming against me, uh, wanting me to pick up my things and move. You heard me. They're wanting me to pick my things up and move. And that's, um, the Lord is, is, is going to move in a mighty way to take care of that. And so I'm just being patient with him and I'm not going to stress over it, be depressed over it. I'm just going to do the best I can every day. And God comes first in doing his ministry. And I do what I can do with what's left. And he helps me to have peace don't worry about it. It's all about to change. It's all about to be all made new. My home, my life, the kingdom ranch, the kingdom church, it's all about to be made new. He's going to give me finances. He's going to give a lot of you finances that um, are going to be staying behind that are part of the 144,000. I love you. Got to go. Got to upload. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.